Hey y'all, welcome back to the set. Very soon, it's gonna be that big day y'all. That's right, big V day, Valentine's Day. And I wanna make sure you are prepared to make a really, really delicious meal at home. And you don't have to go over to, you know, the Texas Roadhouse or whatever and spend $100 on a meal. You go stay home, you avoid the lines, all that kind of cool stuff. So today, it's gonna to be bruschetta chicken on a bed of butter noodles. Oh man, it's gonna be some good groceries that you will not wanna miss. That's some good groceries. So let's get some ground work going here. So we got a pot over here on our Blackstone. I have the two burners. If you don't have the two burners, you can also do it on the top or if you wanna do this, inside it's fine but we have this and we're going to use it to our ability i'm going to add a little bit of salt to that it's kind of season the water up it's going to make that pasta really really nice so our noodle of choice here we're going to use a nice little penne noodle i like it because it's all cut all cool and stuff i mean if you put this in front of your wife or your loved one or your husband they're going to say that's a good job buddy so penne noodles i like it because it gets some sauce right in that hole just, just good groceries all around our water is up to a bowl. Now we're just going to add our noodles. I'm just going to add about a half a box. It's just me and Jacob here. We don't need any more. So we're just going to come in here, stir this up just a little bit, just to make sure everything's loosey goosey. Our water is nice and salted. This is going to act as a nice bed for our bruschetta chicken later on. While our noodles are cooking, we want to get our chicken, we want to put it in a marinade. So this marinade is super, super easy, super, super quick. And it consists of some good olive oil, fair amount of garlic. I, I don't know if you want to put a lot of garlic, you know, it's Valentine's, so I don't know. Your date may not want to have a kiss. Just take your toothbrush, all right? Balsamic vinegar. I'm going to add some of this Blackstone Essentials blend. And now we're going to, just going to give this a stir. And you kind of want this to kind of emulsify a little bit. Gives it a nice body. Stick to our chicken real good. We're going to get our chicken into a, this is a gallon size baggie. Drop them in. Got four pieces of chicken total. If you want to use chicken thighs, go right ahead. We're going to come in here with our marinade. And we're just going to pour right over that chicken. Try to get all the air out as possible. Just kind of squeeze it down. And just kind of massage it around. Kind of beat it around a little bit. Kind of get at it like it owes you money, all right? I mean, I'm talking about like, get like, <clears throat> like that. Like, <clears throat> That's the way I do it, you know what I'm saying? I want this to go for about maybe 10 minutes or so. If you want to go longer, do this well up to advance, you know, maybe three, four hours, probably be good as well. But don't necessarily have to go very long. Now, after that, we're going to make the bruschetta part of this that's going to go right on top of our chicken. After it gets done cooking, it's going to lay right over. It's going to be good. First, let's get some Grape tomatoes chopped up, I like to slice these lengthwise. If you want to use a cherry tomato, grape tomato, you can do a Roma tomato, however. But I really, really like these sweet tomatoes. After that, we're going to dice a red onion. If you don't have a red onion, you can feel free to use any kind of sweet onion. Now, this is the flavorful part. Beautiful, fresh basil. And what I like to do with the basil, I like to kind of stack them on top of one another, roll them up real tight, and then cut them. And the chefy term for this is called a chiffonade. And... This will pretty much wow your guest. This will wow your date. She'll probably want to go out on another date with you, I'm sure. Next, we're going to add some garlic. Next, let's take some good olive oil and let's pour onto this, I'll say about two tablespoons worth. After that, a little bit of good balsamic vinegar. Then we're going to add a little salt and pepper just to flavor it up. Mix that up well and it's set to the side so you can get ready for your chicken later on. So our noodles, they're done and to my liking. I, I don't like mine very yeah, firm. It's very soft, very good. While we're waiting on our griddle to preheat, I want to go ahead and drain our noodles. And I like to leave a little bit, all right? A little bit of water. All right, so got our noodles drained. Our griddle is pre-warmed. It's hot. You can see some, a little bit of smoke coming off. You don't want this at a blazing hot rate. So we're looking at about a 400 degrees, 425. You just want a nice little sizzle when we put this down. We're gonna lay this chicken down on a dry griddle. The marinade has some oil in it, so you don't need to add any more. And we're just going to cook this chicken until an internal of about 160 degrees. All right, so it's been about three minutes. And let's give these chicken breasts a flip. See the balsamic vinegar really, really makes a nice exterior. 
nice caramelization, good groceries. We're gonna let this go for three minutes on this side and we're gonna check the internal. Our chicken breasts, they are almost done. So I'm gonna transfer those over here. This is actually, this burner is off. And I just want that residual heat kind of finish cooking these chicken breasts, okay? So we're gonna take our tomato, onion, basil mixture and we're gonna come here and we're just gonna spoon it over each one of these chicken breasts. We're gonna take mozzarella cheese, we're gonna lay over each one of these chicken breasts. We're gonna take our black stone cover. It's gonna come in there. That's gonna create a nice convection. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be melty, gooey. It's gonna be tangy, it's gonna be beautiful. Now, butter noodles, right? That's right, we came here for butter noodles. And again, we really don't need high heat. I'm actually cutting these burners off. It's gonna come here with some of our beautiful butter. This is European butter. We have our noodles. And we're just gonna come in, just like that. Stir those around. I'm gonna get some of that brown butter on there. I'm gonna take a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That's gonna be lovely. It's gonna thicken it up a little bit, make it tight. Just stir those around in all that butter. Our butter noodles are done. They are setting over there, all beautiful. Now, let's get our chicken ready. Oh boy, look at that chicken, man. Y'all, your Valentine's date, they are going to love you. Take a look at this. Nothing left to do here, folks, but to get this plated. So we're gonna come here with our noodles. Nice, beautiful plate. Nice presentation. Like this is Valentine's, y'all. We're gonna add a little bit more Parmesan to this. Now we're gonna come over here with our chicken. And we're just gonna lay this chicken right on top. All right, y'all, this bruschetta chicken, it's done. Boy, it looks good. All we got left to do, we need a little garnish on this. So we're just gonna take a little bit of our basil that we cut up and we're just gonna come in here to the top and make it snow a little basil. It's time to try the fruits of our labor, y'all. And I'm gonna dig in right here. I'm gonna get a piece of this chicken first. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of this tomato. Just like that right there. Mm, boy, that's perfect. Mmm, man. This is very vibrant. The tomatoes, the basil, the onions, mm, it all works. And I tell you what, don't sleep on that little marinade we did too. Creates that nice caramelization on that chicken. Mm, fan, fantastic. Let's not forget about these noodles. Mm, how buttery. The Parmesan really works. Creates a little bit of sauce, creates a little bit of saltiness from the parm. Boy, this is good. This is a slam dunk. I promise you make this, you'll be asked for a second date, I guarantee it. Y'all, hey, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day. Hey, give us a try. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Also, head on over to Blackstone's YouTube channel where there's more great recipes just like this waiting for you. Hey, I'm Hungry Hussy, and that's some good groceries.